Now it's over here with uh, head men's basketball coach Jake Zender. First off, before we get into the game with Erskine, just talk about obviously you had a, a long break over the holidays and you've had a little bit of time to get into practice, figure things out before the season really starts going again. Talk about that process a little bit. Um, yeah, I mean, we had a little bit of downtime, I guess, but um, some of them I think needed it. I, I, you know, played a couple of those guys some heavy minutes, so it's good that they kind of were able to maybe rehab a little bit and get their bodies right. Um, but uh, again, you know, we're still we're still going hard in practice, so that's always um, part of the process. Schedule is a schedule. Last time you faced this Erskine squad, you know, they shot really well from behind the three-point line. Has that been an emphasis uh, on the defensive side of practices this week? We've only talked about defense, but um, it's crazy, you know. Uh, I think, I, mean, I always like to think that I'm a defensive-minded coach, and we spend the majority of our time focusing on you know, defense and tendencies and schematics. Anyway, we've not been great from on that side of the ball. Uh, and on the flip side of it, we've been really good on the other side of the ball. So you kind of start thinking to yourself, you know, am I, am I doing things wrong? But you got to do what you believe in. And uh, this whole week's been about the defensive side. You know, yesterday's practice plan. I don't think the only offense, the only offensive drill that we had in practice yesterday was a shooting drill. And that was just so they could get shots up. But we, 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 we practiced for a substantial amount of time, and everything was focused on the defensive side of the ball. So hopefully we can guard a little bit. We've not been able to guard, but some of that is is due to, to these McCray and King. I, I think they're two of the best offensive teams in the league, if not the country. So, Well, going in more in depth of, of how this Erskine squad played against you the first time, you know, Schuler, their sophomore guard, 11 points, six assists, five rebounds. Uh, their senior guard, Jalen Canada, 14 points, three for six from the three-point arc. Uh, Jalen Hiralau, 11 points, 15 rebounds, two blocks, two steals. So he's I mean, a really good player. Absolutely. I so think he's a really good player. But but like we mentioned, you, you held them to a pretty low field goal percentage um, in the second half, especially is where you guys kicked in the gear the first time you played them. But I guess just what are you looking for from your guys to start off this game? At I want to guard. I always want to guard. I, that, that that answer will never change. Like they're gonna, they're gonna fight. They're gonna play hard. That I haven't had an issue with. Really, I think there was one game that we had an issue with that, but it was after a back to back and then a travel day, and we played the next day. Some of that has to come back to me and scheduling. But other than that, I've never had. I haven't had any issue with um, you know competitiveness and uh, energy and, and playing hard. But I want to guard. That that'll still be the emphasis, probably. Most most more often than not, it's when we're talking about the defensive side of the ball. I expect them to come out and guard. I expect them to come out and guard. Absolutely. Flipping it to the offensive side, last time you played this squad, you know, senior guard Tion Rollins, 17 points, four assists. He shot really well in that game. Doug Owls actually had his breakout game as a Patriot, 16 points. Five of seven from three point. He's got a little. He's got a little chip on his shoulder for that game. He's got a. He's got a, 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 a lifetime buddy on that team and that he grew up with, and they were teammates. And uh, it's funny. You, you kind of. I, we had seen them in the restaurant before the game, <laughs> and I was and I kind of kept my eye. I wanted to just keep my eye on my guys and their guys. You're about to compete in a few hours. You want to make sure that everything's. Mm -hmm. You know, under control, and but I did kind of. I was looking at Doug and just wondering how that interaction would be. And Doug didn't say a word to the kid, <laughs> and I thought it was kind of cold. And uh, after the game, I said, "Yo, you know, he, he, you know, there's nothing to say. You know, there's nothing to say. We we got to go compete, and then afterwards we'll be great friends and we'll talk on the phone. But uh, not that day. So that, <laughs> he's got a little, uh, he's got a little chip on his shoulder for that one. So it's good. He'll 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 Absolutely. You know, both Patriot basketball programs right now on some really good win streaks. 
this is a uh, home game against Erskine today, but then you'll go on the road uh, on Monday against Southern Wesleyan. So how important, I guess, is it to get a victory before going back on the road? They're all they're all huge. Every one of these games is the most important game of the season. It sounds cliche, and people are going to say that, but it's the truth, man. You can't get caught too far behind in, um, in, in the league, and Barton's rolling, and, and Pembroke's got that thing like a, 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 a train, you know, moving uh, full force, and we we got to kind of try to keep pace right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, you lose one at home, you're in trouble. You know, the road team, or the home team usually wins 70% of the time is an average statistic in college basketball, and uh, you don't want to be in that, you know, that 30, that, that 30% right. kind of side. But we'll be, uh, those guys will be ready to play. They'll be ready to play. They'll be prepared. They'll be ready to play. Um, and we just got to see how the chips fall. All right. You know, that is sort of like your mantra. You know, they're, they're all going to be ready to play. Control what you can control. But is winning streaks, like I mentioned, with the women's program and your program as well, is that something that the guys pay attention to? Or is that something that's kind of sort of swept under the rug? Let's yeah. go on to the next game. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't know that uh, somebody, it's funny you say that, somebody texts me. Okay, this is this is uh, after the King game, and it was just a four emoji, mm-hmm. and I sent it back and I said and I just put a question mark, and uh, they're like that's four in a row, and I'm like, oh, I had no I I did I really did not have any idea. Right. I was just focused on King. You just got to get the one. Yeah. And then the rest of the stuff, that stuff will okay. You look at that stuff when the season's over, but we got to get the next one. And the one that's right in front of us, that's the most important one. I, I could, I'll be honest, I could care less about the last four, five, six, seven, eight. Right. It's just this one. Um, and we got we got to go get we got to go get this one in order to get uh, move forward. Absolutely. Well, good luck to you and the guys uh, today against Erskine. Thank you, sir. Absolutely.
Welcome back here to the Patriots Sports Network. I'm Alex Weber here for part two of the doubleheader between Francis Marion University and Erskine College. You just got to see the starting lineups for both sides. With the tip off starting in just a second, Joan appears for the Patriots. Number 35, Tavis Bridges. And the Flying Fleet will take the tip off here to start off. Atlantic Schuler, one of the top scorers for this Flying Fleet team. Alex Cox off the bat with the seal all the way. Taking a tumble as he gets it down the cup. Patriots off early to a 2-0 start after that circus shot from Alex Cox. There's Overton Daly. Back to Schuler. Schuler. Gets it over to Jalen Priolu. Into the corner. Schuler. That one out to Robinson. Three pointer just off. Rebounded by Yebga. Doug Alves pushing it up the floor for the Patriots. Farad St. Cyr Jr. just off. Pierce trying to save it. And I'll go the other direction. Senior leadership from Alex Cox telling the squad to slow it down just a bit. Francis Marion at the moment, third in conference Carolina standing, six and one in the conference, nine and four overall, and currently on a four game winning streak. Into the corner now, Daly, he gives it up, and Alex Cox looking for Pierce. He might just go coast to coast himself, and he will! Alex Cox does it one more time early on. Alex Cox last time in due west South Carolina at 11 points, four steals, four rebounds. He's already starting off very well in his second appearance against the Flying Fleet this season. Inside cut, Pierce with nice defense. Tip drill at the rim. And they'll say it stays with the Flying Fleet. Plenty of bodies in front of the ball. Jalen Robinson, back over to Preolu. Inside, big man basketball, rebounded by Jonah Pierce. Doug Owls, who actually has a long time best friend on this team. Jerome Stevens, native of Boston, Massachusetts, also a Quincy College prospect. Doug Alves is last time out against Erskine. He's going to throw an alley-oop, but it's just off target to Pierce. Schuler now going to take it up the floor on Yegba. And that'll stay with the Patriots. Tough shot that time for Schuler. We were talking about Doug Alves in his last outing against Erskine College. His first ever outing as a Patriot, 16 points, 5 of 7 from the field and also five of seven from the three-point arc. Also registered a steal in that contest, so he was hot from deep last time against the Flying Fleet. They're gonna get it over to Cox now on the wing. Defended by Robinson inside Pierce. Strong layup, and it's gonna be just off. Rebounded by Priolo. Driving on Yebka, he had his hands up, no foul. Pierce. Touch pass, Yebka, circus shot, no good. They'll call a blocking foul on the Flying Fleet. Number 11, Jalen Robinson. It actually will be a shooting foul, and Yebka will get two attempts at the line. At the line for the Patriots, number 30, Johan C. Yebka. Yebka at the line. First one is good. On the season, Yebga just under 500% from the free throw line as the second attempt is no good. 
Daly all the way and one. Opportunity for a three point play now for the fleet. For the basket, foul to the Patriots, number 15, Jonah Pierce. At the line for Erskine College. At the line for Erskine. Number 20, Des Overton Daly. Des Overton Daly converts the three point play. Brings the flying fleet within two. St. Cyr cutting inside and tries to get the circus shot to go. Picked up by Tavis Bridges. And that'll go the other way for Francis Marion. Alves over to Yebga. Yebga cross court to St. Cyr. Cox, three pointer. Just off the back iron, offensive rebound, Yebga. Cox, for an opportunity for a three-point play. Cox is off to a great start. Cox already up to six points, and he can get his seventh here at the line and convert the three-point play. And he will. Three-point play for the senior leader, Alex Cox. Yebga and Alves coming off for Turner and Nick Silva. With a few Patriots out today. We'll see some guys get some extended minutes as that pass is heading just over here on my side of the floor. Patriots will inbound to here, Silva on the sideline. Turner now playing the point guard position as Alves gets a quick break on the sideline. Silva double teamed into the corner. Turner just off the front iron. Rebounded by Jalen Prelu. Daly shot is gonna pop up going to be rebounded by St. Cyr. Keeps it alive, but it's off of Turner according to the officials. That'll take us to the first media timeout here. We'll take it with them. Come right back on the Patriots Sports Network. Year after year, with unwavering dedication, McLeod Health has stood shoulder to shoulder with families, friends, and neighbors, bringing health care expertise and compassion to all the communities we serve. As the region's most trusted healthcare resource, our physicians are here for you. Our nurses are here for you. The entire McLeod family is here for you. McLeod Health, here for life. If you had to pause your favorite show because your spouse fell asleep, You've compromised enough. Pepsi Zero Sugar. We're right back here on the Patriots Sports Network. After that media timeout, the Patriots lead eight to three. Alex Cox with seven of the Patriots' eight points. He's having one heck of a start to this game here against Erskine College. Flying Fleet back on the floor. Pass out to number 20, Dez Overton Daly. He gets it back from Bridges, cuts inside, gets tripped up. Cox, yeah, he will get called for the travel that time. He got tangled up between a pair of flying fleet. Silva will inbound, so it actually will. I was confused there for one second. Silva was trying to inbound it for the Patriots. 
Eight to three, 15, 34 on the clock. Schuler with it, back over to Robinson. In the bridges, jab step, jump shot, it's rebounded. Out of bounds by Daly. It'll head the other way for the Patriots. And Silva tried to stay with it. It got poked away. Schuler on the wing. Schuler going all the way in. Rebounded by Silva. Back with the flying fleet. Two bad offensive possessions by the Patriots. Official switches call. Send it the other way. Eight to three. Shante Turner will try and get it up the court. Knowing the double team is coming. Flying Fleet trying to take any offensive possessions away, and I don't believe that one was touched by Erskine. And that'll be backcourt violation. Flying Fleet with the ball down by five. Schuler with it, guarded by Sam, excuse me, Turner. Silva goes up for the block, pump fake by Prelu. Brings the flying fleet within three. St. Cyr into Pierce. Pierce's bounce pass taken away. Robinson, shot is blocked, but there's two flying fleet under the basket to clean up the mess. Eight to seven right now is the score. The Flying Fleet back into this game. Silva gonna take a three-pointer. Long. And will go with the Flying Fleet, I believe. Looks as if the ball's staying on the south side of the gym with the Patriots, though. And I haven't seen this this season from FMU. Number 22, Patriots having some substitution problems. Pierce, Darius Jones, Doug Alves, Johan Steve Yebga, and Farid St. Cyr out on the court for the Patriots. I, I'd have to say <laughs> this is the most hectic start to a, a Conference Carolinas game here at the Walter D. Smith University Center this season. Unbelievable stuff so far. Very quick offensive possessions on both sides. Not too much defense. Eight to seven. 13 48 on the clock. Pierce turn around. Hook shot is good. 10 to seven. Patriots back up by three. St. Cyr with a finger on the ball. Didn't change the trajectory. And tough shot to put in, but it goes down. Kingston Johnson. Alves over to St. Cyr. St. Cyr into Yebga. Back to Alves. Alves from three, and he's touched, but they will say no touch. But no chance for three shots at the stripe. As Overton Daly not able to get that one down. Yebga just takes it away from Prelu. Go for another alley oop chance. Not there that time, Schuler. Going all the way in, off the glass, falls into the cup. Flying Fleet are up by one, 11 to 10. Jones into Yebga. Easy layup for the France native. Patriots up by one now, 12 to 11. Schuler, shot fake. Freilu. 
Illegal screen. Number 10, Kingston Johnson. That goes the Patriot way. That'll lead to a substitution here for Francis Marion. Farad St. Cyr coming off for the veteran number four, Alex Cox. Jerome Stevens and Jalen Canada also now in for the Flying Fleet. Jones almost got it taken away from him. Yebga inside using that strength. Pierce right there. Another big body gets it to go down the cup. Pierce with a chance to convert the three-point play at the line. We'll take a timeout on the floor leading to the media. We'll be right back on the Patriots Sports Network. Returning back here to the Patriots Sports Network, Jake Zinder is fiery right now. He's fiery. Patriots are up by three, but things aren't going their way according to plan by the look of Jake Zinder and emotions here in the first half. Alex Cox started off with seven of the Patriots' eight points, but it has been very still ever since then. Flying Fleet have managed to bring it back within three. As Jonah Pierce is going to have a chance to convert the three-point play now at the line. Three sets a game at the line for the Patriots. Number 15, Jonah Pierce. Pierce's shot off the back iron, rebounded by Canada. Now in the game, number 32, Mikhail Rakestraw. Corner three-pointer. Erskine gets it to go down, Jerome Stevens. Cox, head fake. Inside the Yebga, he's got two guys on him now. Outside to Alves, Alves cuts in. Off the fingertips of somebody, but they'll call Rakestraw with the foul. So Alves is going to inbound it now for Francis Marion. Pierce a shot blocked. Rebounded by Prelu. There's Stevens, long friend of Doug Alves. Darius Jones called for the blocking foul underneath the basket. Two shots coming up for Rakestraw. Rakestraw's first shot off the back iron, no good. Second shot is going to go down the cup. Erskine up by one now. Alves has it. Almost a kickball violation. Yegba into Pierce. Faking in the cup. Pierce, easy basket, automatic in the paint. The 6'8 sophomore from Sanford, Florida. Silva awaiting entrance now here for the Patriots. Canada over to Schuler. 
Breaks draw now, cutting inside off the fingertips of Jones. Stevens, corner three-pointer, he does it again. Two three-pointers for Jerome Stevens in the exact same spot. Cox, his pass deflected, Stevens picks it off. And Alves stopping Stevens from going all the way to the basket. Silva will now come in for number 22, Darius Jones. Right straw over to Schuler. He passed to Canada. Inside. Back to Stevens. Another corner three. That one off the front rim. Rebounded by Cox. Tough pass by Yebka. Yebka, though, with an even better response to that one. Oh, goodness, Jonah Pierce. Automatic, like we keep saying, when that man's got the ball in the paint and he's got one defender on him, I feel pretty bad for that one defender. Jonah Pierce, one of the top field goal percentage shooters in this league. He's at the line again. Convert the three-point play, and he will. Pierce up to nine points now here in the first half with 9.54 to go. St. Cyr now in for Cox. Schuler over to Raystraw. Stolen by Alves. Alves going to go all the way up and in. Patriots up by three, 21 18. Stevens. Looks like Pierce is about to pounce on that. He's taking that away from Stevens. St. Cyr guarding Rakestraw. Alves on Schuler. Newly entered Connor Stark gets it over to Rakestraw. Stevens trying to Euro step his way inside the paint. They'll call a foul on Yebga. Yebga. The Eiffel Tower himself. Such an immovable force down low. Picks up his first foul. Stevens knocks down the first one as Cox comes right back into the game for Nick Silva. Couple Number subs four, now for Alex the Flying Fleet. Rake Straw and Canada come out. Robinson and Prelude back in. His shot misses. Pierce with the rebound. St. Cyr trying to get a screen. Yebga into Pierce. They'll call the foul on Stark that time. Good pump fake by Jonah Pierce. Gets himself to the line once again. And what do we keep saying, folks, throughout this entire broadcast? Jonah Pierce underneath the basket is automatic. Watch the tape. Jonah Pierce taking a second before he takes his first attempt. That one just off the side rim. Yegba coming off now for Silva. Second attempt, just rims out, Stark rebounds it. That might have been the only ball don't lie moments where the ball did lie. Stark. Jerome Stevens, top of the key over to Schuler. Schuler can't get a shot off with a 6 8 forward in front of him. And Stark just stopped play. He just let the ball go. 
Not sure if he thought it was a foul about to be called, but he just went on pause mode there for a second. Silva pass to the hand of Pierce. Beautiful stop by the Patriots. Silva with the pass right to the hand of Pierce inside, and Pierce is able to scoop it into the cup. Stark shot is off. Rebounded by Silva. Silva. Over to Alves. Silva guarded by Prelu. Silva going to cut all the way in. Stays with FMU. That'll take us to immediate timeout. We'll take it with them and come right back right here on the Patriots Sports Network. Returning to action now, right here on the Patriots Sports Network. The 2022-23 Conference Carolinas Championship season is coming soon. Please visit conferencecarolinas.com slash championship to learn more about all of the 2022-2023 Conference Carolinas Championships. Congratulations to senior guard Alex Cox for being named the Conference Carolinas Men's Basketball Defensive Player of the Week. Patriots inbounding to Silva in the paint. St. Cyr back into the paint for Pierce. Cox doesn't really know what to do. He was surrounded by Flying Fleet. Had to get a shot clock reset as the ball came off of the rim just when the shot clock was expiring. 23-19 is the score here in the first half. Bad pass. It's communication. Silva, though, on the other end with a great defensive stop. Great defensive stop by Silva, but that will send Prelude to the line for two attempts. First shot, no good. Prelude shot, good on the second attempt. Inbound to Alves. Low pass from St. Cyr. Alves to Silva, jab fake, back to Alves. Right, off of Prelu, he'll pick it up. Schuler going all the way, went up for the dunk. St. Cyr said, I'm brave enough. Take Schuler to the free throw line. 23 to 20. Schuler at the line. So far, two points to his name. A top scorer, though, 
for the Flying Flea, having trouble today against the Patriots. First shot goes down the cup. Substitution for the Patriots, number 30, Johan C. Sigepka. Schuler's second attempt just out of the cup. Yebga over to St. Cyr, down to Pierce. Yebga gonna penetrate the inside. They'll call the foul on number 24, Jerome Stevens. They'll send Yebga to the line for two shots. First one goes down and it's 24-21 is the score. Second one is off. Rebounded by Prelu. New face in the game, Drayton Benjamin as Stevens' three-pointer is off the mark. St. Cyr. Into Yegba. They'll call traveling on Yebga. Erska now with possession. Dez Overton Daly back into the game for the Flying Fleet. Inbounded to Robinson. Robinson, defended by Alves. Schuler inside, step back, fakes it, passes it over to number 10, Kingston Johnson, who knocks it down. Yebga, St. Cyr, three-pointer. The bank not quite open for St. Cyr as that one rolls out. Flying fleet down the floor now. Schuler defended by Alves. Pierce got a hand on it. Back out to Jalen Robinson. Schuler inside. Takes it back out, guarded by Yegba. Overton Daly, strong inside. That one off, rebounded by St. Cyr. They'll call a travel on St. Cyr. I thought he took a gather step going into the paint, but that'll go the Flying Fleet's way. 24-23, Patriots up by one. Gets it up. Johnson. That one good. That's his sweet spot over there. Kingston Johnson puts the Flying Fleet ahead by one. Owls goes down, but he gets right back up. Owls is fouled on the way in. They'll call two shots for Alves. I thought he was in the, the momentum of passing the ball. I didn't think he was going up for a shot, so he'll get two at the line, though. In the bonus regardless now. His first shot is good. Second is for Erskine, number 21. Second shot, good. St. Cyr back out. Alves heading back to the Patriots sideline for a breather. Yeah. 
Inside, there's Prelu. Schuler waits a second, sends up a floater, nothing but net. St. Cyr over to Yebga. Rejected. Back to him. Cox. Three. Pointer just off the back iron. Rebounded by Pierce. Taken away by the Flying Fleet. Cox went up with it. Says he didn't get all ball. That'll send Prelude to the line. Head, heading to the media timeout now, under four minutes. We'll take it with him and come right back on the Patriots Sports Network. Francis Marion University provided me opportunity in basketball and education. After graduation, I played professionally and started my own business. Today, I'm an assistant admissions director helping the next generation of Patriots because an education at Francis Marion opens doors to a world of opportunities. Huh? Burgers, better with Pepsi. <sighs> Back here on the Patriot Sports Network. Make sure to keep up with all the great things happening in Conference Carolinas through social media. You can follow Conference Carolinas on Twitter and Instagram at Conf Carolinas. Make sure to also like Conference Carolinas on Facebook at facebook.com slash Conference Carolinas. Keep up to date on all the things happening in Conference Carolinas by visiting conferencecarolinas.com daily. Support FMU Athletics by joining the Swamp Fox Club. For more information, visit our website at www.fmupatriots.com or call 843-661-1240. That's 843-661-1240. Jalen Prelu at the line for the Flying Fleet, up by one, 27-26. And it's off the back iron. Prelude's second one is good. Out there for the Patriots, Alex Cox, Barrett St. Cyr, Johan Steve Yebga, Darius Jones, Jonah Pierce. Darius Jones' three-pointer comes right back at him, but it's out of bounds off of the Flying Fleet. We'll call a timeout. Patriots 32nd timeout. We'll take it with them and come right back here on the Patriots Sports Network. Right back here on the Patriots Sports Network. Inbound here from St. Cyr. 3.45 left here in the first half. St. Cyr, 10 seconds, it's good from three. Right down Palmetto Street gives the Patriots a one point lead with just under three and a half to go. Corner three-pointer, no good. An air ball from number 21, Jalen Jennings. Alex Cox going in strong. He tried to go up and under. 
And it was no good. Schuler though, gonna get it close to Jalen Robinson for the layup. 30 to 29. Jones into Yebga. Yegba out to Pierce. St. Cyr with eight on the shot clock. He'll take a, near, a three pointer, that one good again! There it's St. Cyr Jr. Two in a row. Back to back three pointers. If you don't like that, you don't like basketball. That man, St. Cyr, on fire right now. Jalen Jennings at the line for the Flying Fleet. Patriots up by two, and that one rims out. Rebounded by Cox. Yebka. Alves, guarded by Canada. St. Cyr into Pierce, just outside the post. Cox, defended by Prelu, Euro step, and that one is good. Alex Cox is feeling it. What a first half by the kid. Scored seven of the first eight points. He's returned back to action now, getting his ninth here and a potential chance to get number 10 with a three-point play at the line. Cox's free throw just off the mark. Canada. Guarded by St. Cyr. St. Cyr making himself wide on the defensive side. Johnson defended by Cox. Schuler with a three-pointer. That one is good to go. He was waiting for his opportunity to do another. And he sinks that one. Gives the Patriots only a one-point lead now. Cox out to St. Cyr, not a third time. He does it again! St. Cyr, Kodak moment. Schuler, he's got a chance to do back-to-back -back defense. Good there by the Patriots. Johnson tries to go up. Cox with the rebound. Cox defended by Schuler. The one-on-one. -on -one. Cox all the way! Up and in for Alex Cox! Put on the jacket, young man! Schuler gets the basket to go. 39.1 seconds here in the first half. Patriots up 39, 35. They're going to take a 30 second timeout on the Erskine side and we'll take it with them coming right back here on the Patriot Sports Network. Where can you find Francis Marion University? Are we at our ever expanding main campus or at the new Freshwater Ecology Center? In our theaters, galleries and classrooms in downtown Florence or with the growing list of partners throughout the state? We're all of those places. And we're with every one of our 26,000 graduates. Francis Marion University. We're everywhere. We're turning back here on the Patriot Sports Network after an exciting chain of events these last few possessions. 37 seconds. Patriots lead by four, 39-35. Cox in double figures as well as Pierce. St. Cyr almost there. 
Alves had to take a timeout or else he was stuck in a corner. 24.2 seconds. Looks like to be a full. No, it's going to stay as a 30 second timeout. We'll actually stay here with you. We'll go over a little bit of stats so far. On the floor for both sides, Erskine, number three, Lance Schuler, the sophomore out of Charleston, South Carolina, leading the way so far for the Flying Fleet with 10 points. He was waiting to get jump started. Him and number seven, or excuse me, number 24. Jerome Stevens, who we mentioned earlier as one of Doug All's best friends from growing up, both from Massachusetts. He's got seven points for the Flying Fleet. Patriots, like we just said. Alex Cox, double figures with 11. Jonah Pierce with 11 as well. And Farad St. Cyr has knocked down two, three three-pointers in a row. Might be looking for his fourth right here. Oh my goodness, he does it again! Four! Three pointers, Farid St. Cyr going video game on him. Oh my goodness. St. Cyr, four three pointers here in the first half, all coming consecutively. He's got 12 points now at the line for the four point play just off the back iron, but we don't care. Four three pointers, and he got that one to go. St. Cyr with all the momentum on his side right now. Under 10 seconds to go, it's St. Cyr guards Schuler. St. Cyr with a hand on it. Stevens, three pointer, and they'll call a foul for three free throw shots. The clock was at zero. St. Cyr getting called for the foul. So Stevens gets three shots. Number five, St. Cyr, Jr. 42-35 the score right now. Seven point lead for the Patriots. Stevens though with a chance to make it a four point deficit. They're going to give him .2 seconds on the clock. You can't even get a shot off with that amount of time. So he just inbound it here. First free throw was good. He's looking for the second one. He'll get it. Now looking for number three. Stevens gets number three, and that brings Erskine within four. All's going into the stands, and it's not going to hurt you. Just a big round orange ball. As we'll go into halftime, Patriots lead 42-38. We'll be right back here on the Patriots Sports Network in just a little bit. Conference Carolinas is where tradition is unmatched and excellence is earned daily in the classroom, during practice, and in high-level competition. Aggerville has become title town. Our virtues set us apart. We daily work to build champions in body, mind, and soul. It's who we are. This is Conference Carolinas. your favorite show because your spouse fell asleep 
You've compromised enough. Pepsi Zero Sugar. Year after year, with unwavering dedication, McLeod Health has stood shoulder to shoulder with families, friends, and neighbors, bringing health care expertise and compassion to all the communities we serve. As the region's most trusted health care resource, our physicians are here for you. Our nurses are here for you. The entire McLeod family is here for you. McLeod Health, here for life. I must get the do. Cut! Cut! He's hypnotized again! Do the do. Francis Marion University provided me opportunity in basketball and education. After graduation, I played professionally and started my own business. Today, I'm an assistant admissions director helping the next generation of Patriots because an education at Francis Marion opens doors to a world of opportunities. to healthcare, one name stands above all others, McLeod Health. With its team of superb specialists, advanced technologies, and deeply committed professionals, McLeod is here for you. No matter what medical challenge you might face, you can count on McLeod to help you make the most of this blessing we call life. Where can you find Francis Marion University? Are we at our ever-expanding main campus? Or at the new Freshwater Ecology Center? In our theaters, galleries, and classrooms in downtown Florence? Or with the growing list of partners throughout the state? We're all of those places. And we're with every one of our 26,000 graduates. Francis Marion University. We're everywhere. This one is for every parent who needs a vacation after getting back from a family vacation. You've compromised enough. Pepsi Zero Sugar.
Conference Carolinas is where tradition is unmatched and excellence is earned daily in the classroom, during practice, and in high-level competition. Tigerville has become title town. Our virtues set us apart. We daily work to build champions in body, mind, and soul. It's who we are. This is Conference Carolinas. If you had to pause your favorite show because your spouse fell asleep, you've compromised enough. Pepsi Zero Sugar. Year after year, with unwavering dedication, McLeod Health has stood shoulder to shoulder with families, friends, and neighbors, bringing healthcare expertise and compassion to all the communities we serve. As the region's most trusted healthcare resource, our physicians are here for you. Our nurses are here for you. The entire McLeod family is here for you. McLeod Health, here for life. So many flavors of dew. I am thirsty. I must get the dew. Cut, cut. He's hypnotized again. Do the dew. Francis Marion University provided me opportunity in basketball and education. After graduation, I played professionally and started my own business. Today, I'm an assistant admissions director helping the next generation of Patriots because an education at Francis Marion opens doors to a world of opportunities. In life, we learn so much depends on the choices we make. And when it comes to healthcare, one name stands above all others McLeod Health. With its team of superb specialists, advanced technologies, and deeply committed professionals, McLeod is here for you. No matter what medical challenge you might face, you can count on McLeod to help you make the most of this blessing we call life. Where can you find Francis Marion University? Are we at our ever-expanding main campus? Or at the new Freshwater Ecology Center? In our theaters, galleries, and classrooms in downtown Florence? Or with the growing list of partners throughout the state? We're all of those places. And we're with every one of our 26,000 graduates. Francis Marion University. We're everywhere. This one is for every parent who needs a vacation. After getting back from a family vacation. You've compromised enough. Pepsi Zero Sugar.
fire. Grill master, huh? Burgers. Better with Pepsi. Conference Carolinas is where tradition is unmatched and excellence is earned daily in the classroom, during practice, and in high-level competition. Tigerville has become title town. set us apart. We daily work to build champions in body, mind, and soul. It's who we are. This is Conference Carolinas. Welcome back to the Patriot Sports Network. I'm your friendly voice, Alex Wober, down here giving you play-by-play -play analysis of the Francis Marion University and Erskine College doubleheader today between the men's and women's basketball teams. Let's revisit the halftime score in that first half. 42-38, Patriots up by four. Flying Fleet top scores, number three, Lance Schuler with 10 points, and number 24, Jerome Stevens with 10 points. Three Patriots in double figures. Jonah Pierce with 11, Alex Cox with 11, and Farid St. Cyr Jr. with 12. All those points for St. Cyr coming from three-pointers. Cox will inbound it here for the Patriots to start the second half. Season tickets for baseball and softball are now available. Go to www.fmupatriots.com and click on tickets to order your season tickets today. Spring sports season begin the first weekend in February. And we're going to send both sides to the benches for just a few minutes. We're going to stay with you, just talk a little bit about uh, some announcements coming up and maybe a little bit about this game as well. Patriot Nation, be proud and wear red, white, and blue support your Patriots and visit the Francis Marion Patriots online store at www.fmupatriotsshop.com to get all your Patriot gear. And keep up with all Patriots sports action online at www.fmupatriots.com and through social media at FMU Sports. On social media posts, FMU fans are encouraged to use the hashtag Swampum and go Pats go. 
Both sides locked and loaded and ready to go here in the second half. Cox inbounding it to point guard Doug Alves. Technical difficulties to start the second half. We'll get another inbound here from Cox. Cox over to Alves. Stolen away by the Flying Fleet, Canada. Working Alves. Pass to Schuler, cuts inside, gives it to Bridges. Back out to Schuler. Back over to Schuler on the wing. Robinson to Canada. Canada inside, pull up, jump shot, no good, rims out, put back, tip in by Prelude. St. Cyr, we'll see if any of that momentum from his three-point streak came back over into the second half. Cox over to Alves, three-pointer, just off the front end. Pierce bobbing and weaving through the defense. They're too small for Jonah Pierce. Schuler over to Canada. Three-second violation. Yeb's going to inbound it. Alves going to take it up the floor. Patriots up by four. Take it away this time by Robinson. He's held up by Alves. Schuler going to take a three-pointer, and that one going to be good to go. The Flying Fleet are down by one. St. Cyr going to take it up the court. Cox tries to go all the way. He gets into some trouble. He'll stay with FMU. Pierce, spin move inside. Barbecue chicken, barbecue chicken. Jonah Pierce, easy as it comes, automatic in the paint. Pull up, jump shot, good to go, Jalen Robinson. Cox with it on the wing. St. Cyr going to come back for it. Alves, excuse me, Alves over to Cox. Cox pull up floater, just misses just off the front edge. Long pass down to Robinson. Canada driving in, Schuler, another three pointer. That one is gonna be off, Pierce rebounds. Pierce telling the offense to slow it down. St. Cyr doesn't care. Oh goodness, how badly I wanted that one for Farid St. Cyr. Knock it down four in a row in the first half. I wanted that fifth one to come here in the second. Yevga now out on the bench. Silva back into the lineup for Francis Marion. Prelu gets it over to Schuler. Schuler defended by Alves. Canada inside the bridges. It's shot blocked by Cox. And they'll call it a jump ball. Reset the shot clock to 20, gives the Flying Fleet possession. Bridges inside. Silva with some nice defense. Pierce comes away with the rebound. That's what happens when you go up against two six foot eight powerhouses. Defense, 
Pierce inside, just off. Alves tried to put it back up. Nifty moves underneath the basket, and it's taken away by Schuler. Gets it up to Bridges. Corner, Robinson. Robinson tried to get a quick hook shot to go. Got 10 seconds on the shot clock now. Schuler over to Canada driving in. Pierce rejecting the pass. He'll get that one to go underneath, and that'll give the Flying Fleet a one-point lead. Saints here out to Cox. Cox defended by Schuler. Thought about a three point. He's fouled by Schuler that time. As I don't know if Cox is going to get two attempts. It's going to lead to immediate timeout regardless. But we'll take it with him and come right back here on the Patriots Sports yeah. Network as Erskine leads 47 to the Patriots 60, or excuse me, 46. Where can you find Francis Marion University? Are we at our ever-expanding main campus? Or at the new Freshwater Ecology Center? In our theaters, galleries, and classrooms in downtown Florence? Or with the growing list of partners throughout the state? We're all of those places. And we're with every one of our 26,000 graduates. Francis Marion University. We're everywhere. This one is for every parent who needs a vacation after getting back from a family vacation. You've compromised enough. Pepsi Zero Sugar. Right back here on the Patriots Sports Network where the score is 47-46. Flying Fleet have the lead. It's been a real back and forth battle between these two sides today. Inbounds it to Pierce who's pretty much triple teamed. My goodness. Schuler gets the foul though. His second foul of the game. St. Cyr, quick play, just off the edge of the rim. Schuler to Canada. Canada, jump shot no good, picked up by Pierce. Alves to Cox. Into Silva. Good pass to Pierce, but he can't get his hands around it. Going the other way for Erskine. Turnover, Erskine, that's back with the Patriots. Cox going all the way up, and he's fouled, heading to the line for two shots. That was on Erskine College, number 11, Jalen Robinson. One thing the Patriots will always have, as long as Alex Cox is on the floor, is they've got the ability to just slash right to the basket, potentially get two shots at the line or convert the up and in. Alex Cox knocks down his first one. My point is, Alex Cox is such a dangerous slasher. Senior veteran leader is exactly who you want at the free throw stripe. Patriots back up by one, 48-47. Schuler over to Robinson. Three-pointer, Robinson just off the edge of the glass. 
He'll call a foul now here on Schuler. That'll be his third foul. Number three, Lance three quick fouls for Lance Schuler. And it looks like Rakestraw going to come in and give Schuler a break. Out. Pierce, beautiful outlet pass to Alex Cox. You don't like that. You really don't like basketball. <laughs> Inside, Prelu. They'll call a blocking foul on Alex Cox. Now entering for Erskine, number 24, Jerome Stevens. Waiting to come in. Prelu at the line. Down by three. He will not get his first attempt. Second shot from Prelu, in and out. Patriots lead by three. Let's see if they can hold on to this. Silva cutting in strong, and he'll get it to go. The Brazilian native with no regard for human life goes all the way to the basket. Won't be able to convert the three-point play. Robinson now over to Rake Straw. Stevens. Corner, three-pointer is just going to be off. St. Cyr with the rebound. St. Cyr all the way off the glass. Right down Palmetto Street. He'll take that all the way. Bridges trying to work on Pierce. No double dribble, no travel call. They actually will give two shots to 35 Tavis Bridges. Jonah Pierce calling out Bridges at the line. He's smirking. He's smirking. He knows he'll get the first one down the cup. Bridges trying to uh, win an Oscar here at the line, not trying to crack a smile as he knows he might have got away with that one. He'll sink the second one. Number 10, Kingston Johnson now back into the game. St. Cyr over to Cox. He's going to take a three-pointer. He's going to let it go. Rebounded by Daly. Poked away by Alves. St. Cyr all the way. Back with the Patriots. Flying Fleet gave it away off the after the inbound. Woo! 
Francis Marion getting a lot of energy off of that possession. As Erskine find himself down by seven now. Owls to inbound it to Cox. Cox almost blended in to the near corner. Silva guarded by Jennings. St. Cyr with five seconds to go. Guarded by Schuler, three-pointer. Just off the glass. They'll call the shot clock violation. Did not touch rim. Will take us to the media timeout. We'll take a quick break with them and come right back here on the Patriots Sports Network. Year after year, with unwavering dedication, McLeod Health has stood shoulder to shoulder with families, friends, and neighbors bringing health care expertise and compassion to all the communities we serve. As the region's most trusted health care resource, our physicians are here for you. Our nurses are here for you. The entire McLeod family is here for you. McLeod Health, here for life. If you had to pause your favorite show because your spouse fell asleep, You've compromised enough. Pepsi Zero Sugar. We are back here on the Patriot Sports Network. 11.46 to go here in the second half. Patriots lead 56 to 49. They've had a good couple of offensive possessions, a lot of good defensive possessions in the last few minutes as well. As they were only up by one. Erskine was also leading by one at some point here in the last few minutes, but Francis Marion started to find their rhythm a little bit, get them back into gear, and now they find themselves leading by seven. Three Patriots on the court so far in double figures, two for the Flying Fleet. Schuler is back out on the court for Erskine, who found himself in foul trouble. Tipped and stolen, St. Cyr. Trying to go all the way, they call the foul on him. He'll get two shots at the line. St. Cyr, honest to God, I thought he was going to throw an alley oop to Alex Cox. The first one no good for St. Cyr. Second one is good, and we will see entering the game for Francis Marion University, number 31 freshman out of Charleston, South Carolina, Adonis Cole who came up to the varsity squad from the JV roster. He's getting his first minutes here at home. As the Flying Fleet convert that time, first basket out of the, out of the free throws from St. Cyr. Six point lead for the Patriots and an immediate foul on Rake Straw. I believe now that they are in the bonus. Yes, they are in the bonus. Francis Marion now getting trips to the free throw line. Nick Silva going to be at the line this time. He'll knock it down. Silva, second one, good to go. Schuler over to Stevens. Stevens back over to Schuler. Schuler takes a mid range, a little long on the floor. And on 31, Cole. Number 
Stevens now. Schuler guarded by Silva. Jump shot, good to go by Kingston Johnson. Adonis Cole with it. Double teamed over to Owls for three, just off. Rebounded by Pierce. Another rebound by Pierce. He had to get off the ground for that one. Oh my goodness, offensive reboard all around. And there's finally a foul called. I was awaiting one to be called there. Erskine comes away with it. Patriots up by six though. Farid St. Cyr Jr. back out on the floor for the Patriots. Game high, 17 points right now. Stevens, three-pointer no good. All saves it. St. Cyr right there. Oh, my God! Throws the hammer down! Video games, baby! Video games here in the Walter D. Smith Center. Oh, my God! Goodness! I was waiting for it, folks. I tell you what, I had all day I've been talking about it. I'm ready to see a Jonah Pierce alley oop, and I finally got one. He threw the hammer down on Erskine that time. 61 53 is the score. Patriots up by eight. 9 37 to go. Silva coming out for Johan Steve Yegba. Shot is good by Prelu. Six point lead for the Patriots. St. C are getting it up the court. Back to Alves at the logo. Alls cutting inside, was looking for Pierce, and he'll do it again. Jalen Robinson, it's over to Schuler for a three-pointer. Off the back rim, Pierce rebounds. St. Cyr with it, over to Cox. Three-pointer Cox, his favorite spot, and it's just off, rebounded. Johan Steve, yeah, by and one! Three point chance here for the native of France. Goodness gracious, barbecue chicken for Johan Steve Yebga. Rebounded. Kingston Johnson with it. Patriots up by 10 now. In the corner, Jennings with the fake back out to Robinson. They called a travel that time. He did take a quick step before he got a dribble off. Francis Marion will inbound it. Eight twenty-six on the clock. St. Cyr to inbound to Yebga. Oh, St. Cyr all the way into the cup. They call a charge. Oh, my goodness. My emotion's getting the best of me right now. Farid St. Cyr with the charge. Offensive foul on the Patriots going the other way for the Flying Fleet. They'll call a technical foul. Jake Zender. I can't actually believe that call because it's a technical foul on head coach Jake Zender. 
and he was actually talking to his bench. He wasn't referring to anybody on the court. He wasn't talking to a, an opposing player. I think there was miscommunication there between the officials and Jake Zender. Even Coach Zender was so confused. The entire court was about as confused as possible. So it'll stay flying fleet ball. The eight knocked down one free throw. This has been one heck of a game, folks. Flying Fleet get themselves two right there. And when I say this has been one heck of a game, I mean the emotions, the, the, the tension, the stakes, everything is there. Storylines as Owls knocks it in for three. Going up strong that time was Schuler. Alves, fast pass, St. Cyr in transition. Pierce, offensive rebound, up and under! The crowd going nuts here in the Smith Center. Patriots fired up. My goodness, that's gonna take us to a media timeout. We're gonna take it with them so I can contain this excitement over here right here on the Patriot Sports Network. Right back here on the Patriot Sports Network. Had to make sure I hadn't shattered the microphone over here from screaming so loud of excitement on these crazy plays we have seen between these two sides. 70 to 58 is the score here in the second half with 7.28 to go here. Pierce is at the line for an A and one opportunity. And it's going to be good to go. Three-point play. Prelude guarded by Alves. Prelude. Poked away. Alves has it all the way. Easy layup for Doug Alves. Defensive weapon. Jump shot is no good. Rebounded by St. Cyr officially. Cox spins around. Another one to Jonah Pierce. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Throws the hammer down. Alex Cox, I had no idea. Jonah Pierce. Oh wow. That's what you call a top play right there. Conference Carolinas. Hope to see that soon. We'll take a media timeout right here on the Patriot Sports Network.
your turn. Pizza, better with Pepsi. We are coming back quickly here on the Patriot Sports Network. This Patriot squad is fired up. Fired up right now. 75-58 is the score here. And it was 6.44 to go on the floor for the Patriots. Jonah Pierce in the middle alongside Johan Steve Yebga, Fred St. Cyr Jr., Alex Cox, and Doug Alves. With a flying fleet, Kingston Johnson, Lance Schuler, Tavis Bridges, Jalen Robinson, and Jalen Prelude. St. Cyr Jr. has picked up his fourth foul now, both sides in the bonus, with 6.39 to go. Off the back iron, no good. And that second one going to be good to go. Cox has it. Cox! What? Oh, my goodness! Through traffic and everything! Video game! 2K! I don't know what you call it. Oh, my gosh! They're going to have to put a seatbelt on me before I fall out of this chair. Jonah Pierce almost went all the way again. My voice will be gone if this play keeps up. Oh, my goodness. Two shots coming up here for Al, excuse me, Pierce. First one, no good by Pierce. Pierce's second one is a good basket. 78-61. 6-11 to go. Schuler. Back to Prelu. Robinson. Inside to Bridges. Schuler. Prelu cutting inside. Guarded by Alves. Bridges. Jump shot. No good. Rebounded back by Bridges. Blocked by Pierce. Cox has it. Cox. One on one. Oh my goodness. Not one. More. And one for Alex Cox. He's all the way in the seventh row. Technical foul once again coming on Alex Cox. Two technical fouls coming on the Patriots now. They lead 80 to 61. It'll be two shots for the Flying Fleet. Jake Zinner trying to call a timeout, finally gets himself one. 5.49 on the clock, scores 80 to 61, and this house is bumping. We'll come back on the Patriot Sports Network in just one second. Francis Marion University provided me opportunity in basketball and education. After graduation, I played professionally and started my own business. Today, I'm an assistant admissions director helping the next generation of Patriots because an education at Francis Marion opens doors to a world of opportunities. Master, huh? 
burgers better with Pepsi. <sighs> right back here on the Patriot Sports Network. All smiles with Francis Marion right now. Game is not over yet, though. Erskine has battled back, back and forth. Alex Cox giving me a little bit of a smirk right now. <laughs> Tavis Bridges at the line for the Flying Fleet. First one's going to be off. We'll see the second one coming up here in a second. But absolute spectacle to see here from Francis Marion University. We've seen highlight after highlight from this squad today. As Bridges' second attempt is no good. And Alex Cox will get his attempt at the line after his and one. At the line for Patriots, number four, Alex Cox for Wardenstein. Cox knocks it down, converts the three-point play. He'll come subbed out. Barrett St. Cyr will come in. Lou over to Kingston Johnson. Lance Schuler. Prelu. Three pointer. Good to go. St. Cyr, they're getting the ball up quick here. Into Alves. Alves avoiding all possible opposing players. The pass just didn't work that time. Heads out of bounds. Erskine with the ball, 5.23 to go. Schuler, all the way. No good. It's going to stay with Francis Marion. They'll say he just touched the baseline out of bounds. Yegba, that was on the play. It'll be inbounded by Jalen Prelo, though. Prelu, excuse me. Three-pointer just off, rebounded by Pierce. Alves trying to get around. Yegba over to Alves. Great ball control. Darius Jones in the corner. Let it happen! Let it rain! Jump shot is good to go for Zay King. Freshman out of Spartanburg, South Carolina. Owls, oh my, almost another alley-oop for Jonah Pierce. Another three-pointer on the way for the Flying Fleet. No good, rebounded by Pierce. Saints here. Four ten remaining. And they call the foul that time on Zay King. With them in the bonus, they're heading straight to the charity stripe. At the line for the Patriots, number five, Barry St. Cyr Jr. First shot good to go. DJ Bellin, Salisbury, Maryland, transfer from Lynn University. Silva back out on the court now for Yegba. Second attempt off the back iron, offensive rebound. Silva tried to go back up and a shooting foul. Will also go on Zay King. Silva's first shot off the back iron. Silva's second attempt, down and in. 
Here we go, Schuler bringing it up for the Flying Fleet. And they'll call the media timeout just two seconds early. We'll take it with them and come right back here on the Patriot Sports Network. Where can you find Francis Marion University? Are we at our ever-expanding main campus? Or at the new Freshwater Ecology Center? In our theaters, galleries, and classrooms in downtown Florence? Or with the growing list of partners throughout the state? We're all of those places. And we're with every one of our 26,000 graduates. Francis Marion University. We're everywhere. This one is for every parent who needs a vacation. After getting back from a family vacation, you've compromised enough. Pepsi Zero Sugar. Right back here on the Patriots Sports Network. Under four minutes to go. Patriots lead by 20, 86 to 66. Earlier in this half, the Flying Fleet were ahead by one. Things just changed so quickly. The momentum with Francis Marion University was immense. Uh, the alley-oops to Jonah Pierce, the three-pointers from Ferret St. Cyr, the three-pointers from Doug Alves. The and ones from Alex Cox, you name it, it gave the Patriots that energy that they needed. And one opportunity coming here for Kingston Johnson. For the basket, Doug Alves picking up his second foul. He'll knock it down for the three point play. Dangerous pass to Alves with two flying fleet members on him, and he'll pick up the foul and go to the line. I'm not sure if both sides realize it, but they're in the bonus. <laughs> You're heading to the line, you put a hand on him. Put that extra hand on him, and that's two free throw shots. Well, with the flying fleet down this much, do, do they avoid fouling? Do they try and get to the cup on offense? Do they take more jump shots? Well, we're going to find out here after this two free throw attempts from Alves. Knocks down the first one, and he'll have 10 points in the contest officially. Second one rims out, rebounded by King. DJ Bellin over to Schuler. King, three pointer, gets it to go in the far corner. Silva over the top. St. Cyr, Pierce! Up and under for Pierce. I was getting ready. I thought it looked like it. It looked like another one. It looked like another alley oop. I have to be ready over here. <laughs> Almost an alley -oop potential there for the Flying Fleet. Schuler not able to finish on it. Was more of a accidental alley -oop. But Darius Jones in the far corner just off the front iron. Under three to go officially. They'll call the charge on Schuler. Nick Silva doing a great job that time on defense. Two subs coming in now for Francis Marion, Asante Turner, and Adonis Cole. There goes the inbound to Turner. Turner with a bad pass behind St. Cyr. Three-pointer, Johnson off the mark. 
And that's going Patriots way. 2.27 on the clock. And will be free throws. Silva at the line. First one, good to go. Going in now for the Flying Fleet, Connor Starks, a 6'9 senior out of Roswell, Georgia. Head Nerskin's way. Rake Straw over to King. King's been pretty solid in the few minutes he's seen here in the second half. Three-pointer, DJ Bellin. St. Cyr, Patriots lead 90 to 75. St. Cyr almost went up and under. All the way to the cup that time is Daly. Under two minutes to go. Bellin, one more time. Too much on that one. Darius Jones comes up with it. Minute 35 to go. Goes up the middle, gets Silva, go baseline, up and under, and it will count. Two points for Nick Silva. Sends him to the free throw line for the potential three point play. Silva converts. Austin Harrell finding his way into the game for the Patriots coming in for Farad St. Cyr Jr. A minute 24 to go. Rake Straw going to pick it up. Rake Straw three pointer just off. Rebounded by Silva. Silva over to Turner. Turner trying to get that under a minute. Over to Darius Jones. Adonis Cole on the wing. Turner, jump shot, no good. Silva, jump ball. We'll stay with Francis Marion. Turner to inbound it to Silva. And the foul going up. Silva, 52.3 seconds. And Silva knocks down the first one. Silva, second attempt also is going to be good. Three pointer from Daly, good to go. 95 to 80, Patriots up by 15. Adonis Cole up and good, Adonis Cole. His first points as a Patriot. 
come under a minute to go here in the second half. 32, race draw, good from mid-range. Still a 15-point lead for Francis Marion. Shot clock is off. That should take it to the horn. 20 seconds. Jones is just going to dribble this one out. And zero seconds on the clock, the horn goes, and that's going to be it here from Francis Marin University and Erskine College. What a fantastic doubleheader on a Saturday afternoon. We got to see two high-powered offenses battle it out against each other. Francis Marion win the final game, 97 to 82. Let's look at some of the stats here on the board. Nick Silva finishing the game with 11 points. I want to say five Francis Marion University Patriots finished in double figures, which is amazing. That might be the most they've had in double figures all season. I mean, we talk about the momentum swings from both sides. And one opportunities from Alex Cox. Three pointers from Doug Alves. Three pointers from Farid St. Cyr Jr. Alley-oops by Jonah Pierce. There is, I can't even count on my fingers how many type of momentum plays they had go their way and it just kept on going it kept on giving them the energy to take it all the way down to the finish line Erskine on the other hand fought intensely to battle back the flying fleet unfortunately could not get their first win of the season today in a very tight contested battle between Francis Marion University again the Patriots will be on the road Monday Martin Luther King Day against Southern Wesleyan University and they will be on the road again at Mount Olive on Wednesday night. Both twin bills will tip off at 5 and 7 p.m. The Patriots return home next Saturday, January 21st, for a doubleheader against UNC Pembroke, the latest installment of the Battle of I-95. We'll tip off with the women's game at 2 p.m., followed by the men's contest at 4 p.m. I'm sorry, you can't see my beautiful face.